with like a different type of energy. Um, and we have that in some games. You know, some games we start strong with the people that start the half and start the game for us. And, and when we don't, we have the luxury of having a couple players to bring in. You know, Val Tennant does the same thing when she comes in. They give us a nice lift. And same thing with Keith, Connor. She, uh, she's so skilled that when she goes in, she can make baskets or get rebounds. Or, you know, she hit a big shot kind of when we were in a lull from, like, right inside the three-point line at the high post. So um, our bench did a lot of good things tonight. Early in the game, I, I noticed, I looked down, and you guys were 15 to nothing before. Mm -hmm. uh, you looked pretty good. And, and when it was all said and done, you guys ended up uh, ended up out-rebounding out them uh, with, with some steals. You, did you talk to the girls about that? I'm sure that was part of the reason why Alex Keith went on the run. Yeah, and uh, they had, I think, four or five offensive rebounds in the first six, seven minutes of the game. But then by halftime, they had only had one or two more. Um, so we did a good job of buckling down and part of that is you know getting matched up defensively if we're matched up and do a good job of not getting beat off the dribble then we're matched up to box out and when we're chasing them around we're in terrible position to box out so I feel like when we can sit down and defend and execute the game plans then the offensive rebounding takes care of itself definitely I mean statement and you asked the girls like <clears throat> something about it being a statement and I thought you know it was a total gut check game because Saturday is not at all how we've been all season we were flat we didn't play with energy we didn't execute we just um, and not to take anything away from Murray State but we did not play well and we didn't play um, at all with our expectations and we're extremely disappointed about that game and so I thought it was important that whether we won or lost this game that we needed to play how we played all season. There's a lot of energy. We need to be a great teammates. We need to be excited for each other, have a lot of enthusiasm. And um, I thought we did, you know. And when we play like that, like Raven and Michaela rebound and our guards hit shots, and they all do a little something to add to the win. And, you know, Saturday, like, nobody did quite enough to get us over the hump and ever take the lead and hang on to it. Honestly, I, I don't think about that. I just go into every game trying to win it. And if we lose, you know, I think only once this year we've lost back-to-back -back games, it, there's an urgency to turn it around because we want to have a winning season and we want to have the opportunity to try to play in the postseason. And we know that's going to come down to do we have a winning record. And so it's been extremely important to us all year that we can't lose one, two in a row because I think you get in the habit of losing, you know, just like you can get in the habit of winning. And our biggest thing is just controlling what we can control and coming out and trying to win every game. And then we feel like if we do what we need to do, the wins will take care of themselves. You know, I, I asked Michaela and Raven both about when you went on that run early. Mm -hmm. and they said, they said, don't worry about those kids now. Mm -hmm. Do you see that maturation process in them this year? I mean, in all of them? I mean, this is yeah. you know, their third year. Yeah. They under, I think they understand when that happens what we need to do. Before, you know, last year when Jazz was a freshman, if they'd hit some shots, she'd come down and try to individually help our team. And if she didn't make those shots, it would hurt our team. And same thing with Raven. Now they understand, like, we're going to go down, we'll get a good shot, and if we don't make it, we'll crash because we need points. Like, they understand what needs to be done, and they know they need to settle in defensively and, you know, kind of create some offense for us when we have some trouble scoring. So definite maturity and an, a firm understanding of how we want to play and what we need to do at the time. You know, um, always. <laughs> I don't know if we're always uh, really able to do anything because it's a game of mistakes, and it's all a lot about how, you know, you respond to the mistakes and eliminating kind of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back mistakes. And I think we've done a good job of not stringing together a bunch of mistakes. But and the other thing is how hard they work. It's hard not to get emotional, especially when you want so badly to do well. So at times I think – individually players can lose their composure out of like frustration but as a group we're night and day from where we were you know a year ago or two years ago or even at the beginning of this season um, and we have great leadership now so if somebody individually is frustrated they're able to kind of reel them back in like hey stay here and they know what we want as a program so a lot of times they get to each other before we even have to get to them and honestly that was missing Saturday we didn't have that voice that was like we're fine you know we just never did that and that was like I said just not us how we've been this year. Well, there's
there's the WNIT and then there's the WBI. And uh, the WNIT, we need to finish second in the conference, and that's if whoever wins the conference wins the conference tournament. So, I mean, with that, it's an automatic bid process. So all we can do is try to win every game we play in, and then we'll the rest will take care of itself. If we get invited, if we get an automatic bid, you know, we'll – yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Um, but, it, you know, we want to be playing somewhere because I think that would be a great experience for our team. And obviously next year our goal is to win our conference tournament and play in the NCAA tournament. And I want them to get used to playing in Piedmont.